Okay, uh, today's video, I'm gonna be doing, uh, we're gonna be creating a fake person. Uh, this person do not exist. Uh, we're gonna make a picture of it and then we're gonna give it life, uh, transferring our face to that person so we can, when we move on the camera, that picture, it will be like a video and it comes to life. All this is going to be doing by deep learning uh, and AI. The first thing we're going to do is downloading a person from this website called thispersondonotexist.com. If you open this website, you can, uh, every time there is a model running on the background that create this person that they do not exist. Okay. Every time, every time you reload the page, there is a new person coming up. In this case, we're going to be using this person because it match uh, my face more or less. So we're going to close this and we're going to download this picture. So we're going to save it. And then now that we have the picture, we're going to locate it in a place where the, the GitHub repository is for then uh, transferring my face. So we're going to go to in my case, I have it on my user. The reason I'm not using the webcam for recording now is because I'm going to be using it for um, the model. So, so it will give me an error if I'm using it right now. All right. I just paste it here. As you can see, I already pasted this picture. Got to delete the other ones. OK. Then now uh, we're going to load the model. I'm using Miniconda for this. Everything is set up already on the machine. I'm not going to go over the details. We can do that in another video. Let me know if you want to know how to set up a workstation on a machine uh, for deep learning, because I already have installed the CUDA, the CUDDN, all the framework, TensorFlow and PyTorch, everything is installed as well as, uh, as, well as Anaconda. OK, so we're going to launch the batch file, which is already pre-built with, with the code that needs to be run in order to, for this to work. Right now it's loading the predictor and it will open my webcam. All right. All right, so the first thing is as you can see here, we got this uh, square camera, and then you have to place your face around this square. So it will be something like this. If you do it without the, the headphones, it would be much better. But in my case, I'm using it because I need to record the audio. So you look at the camera, and without glasses, it's better to track your eyes. So once you are in place, you look at the camera, and then press X. It was automatically open the picture. And if we, let's put it up a little bit. As you can see now, every time I move, this person is gonna move uh, with me. If I, if I blink my eyes, as you can see here, she do the same thing. Now the cool part is this could be better because in my case, like I said, I'm using the headset and I'm using the, my, my glasses, but if it's just your face, it will be much better. The good thing, as you can see, I can look at the size and it tracks my eyes. It tracks my mouth. I can smile. I can even open my mouth. You can see here. And it tries to open and simulate your tongue, even though in the picture that doesn't exist. One cool feature is that you can move your head. That's the good part. So at some point, of course, it, uh, it's not going to be so uh, stable, but it, it does a very good job uh, with moving the head. So you can move it like this way, like over here. And the cool thing is you can go forward and then go backward. You do that as well. So you can see you have full movement and this can be improved. Uh, but yeah, it's working right now. So you can take this person, create a fake profile on Facebook and do a fake uh, and start sending invitations. So be careful online because a lot of AI now, it can be used for good things, but as well for bad things. So be careful with your, uh, be more secure with your applications and the social media. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.